Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is uh, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. It is quite a scene here, this being one of Asia's top footballing venues, the Saitama Stadium. Everybody standing for the national anthem of Croatia. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. are you reading this formation Jim Begley well the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can can service the penalty box and make those link up runs from out to in he should get plenty of support with this setup So we're up and running. Shibasaki. Saka. Shibasaki. Hoist it forward. Questions were asked, and he's given the answers. Vida, Michelco, Lovren, Perisic pushes to get on the end of it, got a throw in, uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run, he just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Well, the fact that we haven't had an attempt on goal is becoming a, an embarrassing reflection on these teams. It's the through ball. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. Going through. That's great strength on the ball. It's a good-looking cross. You can get that clear. Nagatomo. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Kovacic. Very well to intervene. Saka. And here's Osako. Osako plays it out to the flank. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see.
Modric. No goals as yet. Modric. Tramaric. And it's Perisic. Rebic. Short of forward momentum, lacking thrust, and it's played forward. There's the end of the first half. On both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless perhaps after half time and the action has already resumed here nil nil then and we're back on the way Shibasaki Nakatomo Shibasaki Nakatomo Played out to the right. Tramoric. Nil nil still. It's a game that needs a bit of life injected. Lovren gets it forward. To report from an attacking perspective, Jim, it's a cagey old game. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Tries to get it clear. Shibasaki. Shibasaki. Out to the right. And the shot! Really well taken goal. Listen, I've experienced that goal for and against, and you won't have to guess which one I prefer. on the goal, but I thought once he got the first part of the right by getting his knee over the goal, it was always likely to be drilled very low and so it proved. Japan break the deadlock. Well, we certainly had to wait for it, Peter. Now, a difficult decision. Is it stick or twist? Tramoric. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, I'm inclined to feel that if I was in that dugout, I'd want the players to, to get on the front foot and grab another. Just try to, to make this one safe. It's a loose ball. There are a few waiting for it. Croatia are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. It's Tramoric! Oh, it should have been the equaliser. Tramoric nearly produced the perfect retort. That can only be a means to have another go. Forward it goes. Shibasaki gets it back. Japan. Minutes away from a notable win. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Has gone out. 
Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Kovacic, and he's going long. And there goes the final whistle. Japan, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Well, this game looked to have nil nil written all over it, but credit to them, they upped their game in the end, and I thought they got what they deserved. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.